everybody, Greg here. Welcome to the toy table. I have a special box that we're going to open up. Alright, so here's the deal. I got a package in the mail today. Um, and I'm really, really excited about it. <clears throat> and I thought, hey. Let's do an unboxing on it because it's really, really cool. And it is a hot toy. That's right. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. We're opening the box. I'm going to show you what it is because, and this actually got delivered at work. And I've been sort of, uh, been real anxious all afternoon because <clears throat> I really I'm really really excited to see this particular hot toy so I figured I'd bring you guys for the ride all right I'm gonna give you your first clue right there that's the first clue I want to try to get the Oh, I opened the wrong end. All right. Let's do this. <clears throat> I need to open this end because I want to do I want to do a dramatic opening. <laughs> I had this planned out in my head. So, you know, you got you got to do what you have planned in your head, right? All right. Let's make sure. Yes. All right. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. You guys are seeing the front just like I am for the first time. Oh, that's right. Oh, the Praetorian Guard. Oh, my goodness. Now, I will say this. Um, so, I had some uh, uh, sideshow or Hot Toys cash points, whatever it is. I forget. So, uh, I know that after I open this, I'm going to wish that I got two of them, but... Being responsible. One's better than none. Alright, first and foremost, check the check the box out. You know, and I'm, I'm there's nothing really on the sides but the look at the back art. And I don't care who you are when it comes to Packaging, I think Hot Toys knocks it out of the park every time. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, check this out. It gets even better. I mean, this thing is, oh my goodness, man. This thing is going to be epic. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm being a little selfish right now. <clears throat> In the clamshell. Uh, so yeah, I'm. I am so stoked right now. <clears throat> and you know the price point on this isn't that bad. Of course, it's all one color. <laughs> Not really much of a face sculpt. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so, first and foremost, um, it's amazing looking right, right in the box. Uh, we've got uh, two pairs of hands. 
Um, so I'm just going to start. I don't even know where to start. Um, yeah. Alright, so let's start here. <clears throat> Weapon number one. So I got the uh, the heavy sword one. Um, I just, I like the, uh, I just liked it a little better. The detail, I mean, this thing is just, wow. This is, this is crazy, insane. Uh, the next piece, <clears throat> we have the heavy blade. What did I say earlier? Heavy sword? No, I think it's heavy blade. So there it is. And this thing, I'm telling you right now, it it literally is like a, 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 a real knife blade. <laughs> Just plastic. And it looks like, I'm not for sure, <clears throat> I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm, uh, it's obvious I'm going to have to do some kind of uh, reading to figure out. Because I think these two actually go together. But I don't know how yet. So, i put them right there for now. Uh, so, that's the second weapon it comes with. This is the, uh, the third weapon. And this thing is going to be, this thing is going to be fun to play with right here. This little crazy bull whip. <laughs> and that's exactly what this thing is. It's a crazy bull whip. Um, so basically, uh, the hands, what do we got here? So it looks like we've got uh, da -da -da, left, right gripping, we've got a fist, and we've got a left and right gripping hand, and we have a uh, well, it's not a force hand, but it's, I don't know, well, I don't know what it is. I'm going to choke you hand. I, I don't know what it is, but it's cool looking. <clears throat> All right, so the moment of truth. Oh, no, one more thing. Uh, it does come with uh, two helmets. There's that helmet. Just outstanding detail. And... I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm thinking this might be my favorite of the two helmets, but I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pass judgment yet. All right, here we go. Let's get him out of the box. And let's lay him right here for now, because I want to go ahead and get the base that out wow there's the base nameplate Praetorian Guard that is just that is so cool so freaking cool let's go ahead and get this in place <clears throat> All right. Got to get the instructions. So we'll see. Uh, I got to see how that blade goes together. And for right now, we're going to take all the hands out. And put them right here. And that way we can get the clam shell out of the way. All right. Now for the fun part. Let's get all the plastic off. One of the things that I've, I've heard a, uh, a few people talk about is they're real curious about the articulation on this one. Uh, and I'm one of those people uh, with the, the armor. I'm really curious to see how that turns out. I'm hoping that it has some really good articulation. But right now we're just going to get him, uh, get him unwrapped. So we can uh, check him out. <clears throat> All right. There he is, great 
Praetorian Guard. Wow. All right, so it looks like the under the underbody on this thing is very simplistic. It is just a, a piece of rubber. Um, it all, I'm almost thinking this might be the piece of rubber that's underneath the, uh, the Stormtroopers because it has that same feel to it. Um, Head-wise, you know, it hits the armor right here, so you don't have a lot of side to side. Not much front to back. We have a halfway decent uh, ab crunch. So, oh wow! You know, for this this armor here, this is actually uh, pretty good. I would be very careful right here in the armpit. Uh, it looks like the uh, the red leather could possibly, if you overextend it, you could possibly rip it. I don't know. Uh, it's a little tight, but it, the actual whole armor system on this arm rotates around the arm. Have a good wrist pivot. So, I mean, considering the fact that this thing is armored up like this, I don't think that's too bad of an actual um, articulation, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm perfectly cool with that. Um, let's see. All right, so the same thing here with uh, this is a, a pretty stretchy material, but if you go too wide with the legs, it could put some stress on that area. Looks like we got a double jointed knee, which is cool. Good, good ankle pivots. Oh, it actually, that actually extends pretty good. So I'm, I'm totally cool with this thing. I think, I mean, it's, it's very simplistic. All red, very simplistic. Um, so there's that particular helmet, which I do like the fact that it actually comes with two helmets. But parts of me is thinking I'm going to dig this helmet a little better. So yeah, once I get it on. But this way, without the helmet on, that sort of shows the, I do wish, all right, so, let's see, it hides it pretty good, but I wish this, this sewing seam right here was on the side instead of right there. That, that's nothing crazy, but that's just my personal, my personal take on it, so, so there's that particular helmet, um, it appears that this helmet actually gives him a little bit more side to side. So, and I do like the fact underneath the helmet, it actually has a, um, um, another piece that is like a chin. So when you, when you do a, an up look, you don't actually, you can't see the ball joint, which is really, really cool. Of course, I don't know why you'd ever have him looking, you know, straight up in the air, but... All right, not much side to side, but that's okay. I'm, I'm still, I'm digging him. So, all right guys, I'm going to cut away. I'm gonna read the instructions real quick and then I'm gonna set him up, come back, do a little footage on that and let you see what he looks like. Be right back. All right, everybody, so I put together my space walls just to sort of give it a little bit of a background, to just sort of give you a rough look at him. Um, I've got him with the heavy blade, or yeah, heavy blade, the accessories, there's the hands, uh, the heavy sword, the whip sword is what I'm going to call that, <laughs> but uh yeah, lots of really cool detail on the armor. Like I said, there's not a lot to this. It's actually pretty plain. But overall, 
this is a really cool hot toy. Well, guys, so that's it. Uh, my newest hot toy acquisition, the Praetorian Guard, and uh, yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is the Praetorian Guard with the heavy blade, and uh, I hope you uh, hope you sort of enjoyed this as I got the box upside down. Man, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm a. This is the one character in the um, Star Wars movie that I truly, truly, uh, I, I love that scene. And uh, where Ray and Kylo were fighting them, I thought that was actually a really, really cool scene. Um, I will say this, um, if you can afford it, uh, definitely grab two of them. I think they, they would pair up really good. Uh, but, hey, I'm happy with one. This thing is, is really, really cool. So, but yeah, uh, that's it for this uh, unboxing of my latest hot toy acquisition. And I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, like, subscribe to my channel, share my channel, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think, comment. And uh, till next time, I'm Greg. This is The Toy Table. I'll see you later.